Hello everyone, thank you for checking out my video and today we're talking about parallel lines and transversals. Parallel lines and transversals. And uh, you may be aware of what parallel lines are and uh, but may not be aware of what transversals are. So before I even get to parallel lines or transversals, let's, let's talk about what a transversal is. Well a transversal is a line, if you take two lines and have a line go through them, the line that goes through them um, is the transversal. So before I get deep into that, I want to do a quick review about some angle pairs. Because what we're going to really talk about today with these parallel lines or transversals is angle pairs. So let's go over two angle pairs that you may already be aware of. Okay, so first is when you have two lines like so, uh, the angles that are across from each other are called vertical angles. Okay, and when you have a line that intersect like this, the two lines side by side that's connected on one line is called a linear pair. So these two line angles here are called linear pairs. So I wanted to go over that really quick and we're going to come back to the vertical lines. But now I'm going to go again back over what a transversal is. Now, this is about a transversal through parallel lines. And so two lines that never intersect is parallel lines. And a transversal is the line that intersects those two or more lines. So let me show you what that looks like. So here, the blue line is the transversal. And these two lines here are both parallel. And uh, it's a transversal whether it goes through parallel lines or not. Uh, and the definition for these angle pairs I'm about to give you are the same whether it's parallel or not. But there's certain properties that happen when uh, they are parallel, okay? And I'm going to get into that in more detail in a future video. But right now, I just want to talk about the angle pairs. All right, so here's a transversal line angle P here, a line P, and it's showing you vertical angles in uh, with a transversal. So it's the same thing I talked about, except there's more vertical angles. You can see one and four here, two and three are vertical angles, five and eight, six and seven. With vertical angles, you need to think about an X and the angles that go right across from them, okay? So that is vertical angles with a transversal and parallel lines. Now I'm going to talk about another set of angle pairs here. Alright, this next type here, and by the way, you want to pause the video and write these down to make sure you know which one is which here. But the next type I want to talk about is corresponding angles. Okay, so the ones that are highlighted here are corresponding. So when you have a transversal, you have four angles in, in, on one line, and then four angles on the other line, okay? Corresponding mean that angle in that same section on the first four is in the same spot on the other four. So those two kind of correspond with each other. So one and five, two and six, four and eight, three and seven, corresponding. Okay. Now I'm about to talk about some more uh, angles, but before I talk about that, I want to go over something. It, when you have these parallel lines, um, on the next, the names of these next angles, we're going to talk about something called interior and exterior. And you may be aware of what that means, but interior means the inside. So everything in here is interior. And exterior means outside. Everything up here and down here is exterior. So if you have an interior or an exterior angle, understand that we're talking about all the angles that are inside. And if we say an exterior, we're talking about all angles that are outside. So let's take a look at some of those. All right. Now, on this one, we're talking about alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles here. Okay? And First, like I said, you got that word interior. So we're talking about the angles inside. The angles inside. 
then you have the word alternate meaning going from one side to the other so we start with this inside angle the angle going opposite from it inside is the six so three and six are alternate interior angles alternate and interior then you got four and five and those are alternate interior they alternate and are inside alternate interior angles and again you want to write these down to make sure you know what they are all right here we have alternate exterior angles okay so instead of being inside it's outside so one and eight notice how they go across the transversal because it's alternate one and eight then you have two and seven so when you match those up those are alternate interior angles all right now the next one here is same side it could also be called consecutive but same side interior angles that it's interior again so that means it's going to be we only talking about the inside angles but they on the same side of the transversal so four and six and three and five same side interior angles all right let's look at this one and this is the same side exterior angles they're on the same side but they on the outside so you got one and seven and two and eight okay same side exterior angles all right so now what happens is this uh based on these rules uh uh you either have angles when the lines are parallel you either have angles that are congruent which means they have the same measure or you have angles that are supplementary which means they add up to equal 180 and i'm gonna talk about that in a future video but for now, thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.